Kamala Harris actually talked to reporters for a minute and a half on a tarmac yesterday. She was shamed into doing so because Donald Trump held a, speaking of freewheeling remarks, held a one of those wonderful free forum stream of consciousness press conferences of his. And that was at about uh, two o'clock Eastern time yesterday. And, and, oh, and you're going to hear some of that in just a moment. And it was a, a, a stark contrast that is exactly what he intended. Here I am out here for as long as you want, taking questions, tough questions. Media hate me, I'm, but I'm here. Media love her. Uh, they might actually ask a question about her running mate or actually ask a question about why she's been so unavailable for the past 18 days. But she was actually available on a tarmac in Detroit yesterday, again, for 90 seconds. OK. And she said uh, one of the first things she said was, I'm glad he has agreed to debate. Trump was always up for a debate. It was a matter of when it was going to be. So here's when it might be. And again, 1-800-520-1234. Three, four. That's one of my specific questions for you. How do you think the Trump-Harris debate will go? I hear from people on occasion who say he shouldn't debate her. Uh, I get it. That logic is she's been shuffled onto stage, uh, onto the stage in a weird, very undemocratic, small d, process. Is, is she even a real nominee? Why honor her with a presence on the debate? I get it. I get it. I get it. But the the one of the key words of the next you know, few months is going to be optics. The optics of that are not good. Makes it look like he's ducking her, and he does not have any desire or intent to duck her. He want you, you. He wants her on that debate stage. You want her on that debate stage. Please, how do you not want a Trump Harris debate?